<sighs> Welcome to the magnum opus of being lazy. The art of becoming a couch potato. Playing the game without actually playing the game. The dream of every skyblock player. Welcome to AFK from nothing to hype. Episode 2. Yes, you heard that right. This is episode 2. So make sure you watch the first one linked right here. And let's have a little recap. First mining 7 with unpaid workers in Cobble Inc. Don't worry, I paid them an exposure. Then we used communism. Why does this keep on happening? Anyways, we used the wheat minion in main hubs to get some wheat and more unpaid workers to get to farming 7. I stole wood from a non. And we used a slow method with a witch mask and skeleton pet to get enough birch. More unpaid workers to foraging 7. And eventually, after 2.5 weeks and my co Bale Cypher 123 carrying me hard, we unlocked Bazaar. And you know what Hypixel did after it took us so long to unlock Bazaar? Disable it. Multiple times and multiple days in a row. Also, don't forget about the rules. Especially the last one. For real, the support on my channel has been insane and I'm trying to AFK YouTube rank. Let's get to 20k. At the end of the first episode, we placed down some zombie minions to get some combat XP. And this was a very good idea. Because the spooky event came out and we managed to sell our enchanted poisonous potatoes for around 2.5 million coins. One of the first things we did was place down a roofed forest island. We placed down a second island and made sure to not screw up the crystal this time to do the following. So the crystal spawns a bat from time to time but only when it's night so make sure that you have a night saver on your island and then you want an automatic way to kill them like drowning. The bat spawns panics because it's not a fish and eventually dies and if enough of them die there's a 1 in 54 chance to get a bat talisman. If you have hoppers then when the bat talisman spawns it gets picked up and you can sell it for 120,000 coins. With these rates you should get around 1 talisman every hour so around 100,000 coins per hour. The main reason we unlock bazaar is for this guy so we can go to the dwarven mines. There are two requirements, first of all there's mining 12, but we can easily hit this with cobble ink. We did a vote on Cameron or Connor for employee of the month and Cameron won by a long shot. So Connor you will have to work for a long, long time. The second requirement is 10 enchanted minerals of 3 different kinds. I recommend you get redstone, lapis and emerald since they are the cheapest. You then go to Reese and you give him the bribe of the enchanted minerals and he will let you into the dwarven mines. The AFKing methods that I'm about to show are very controversial. I've never done them before on other profiles, but they are simply the best way to make money AFK. Now they are kind of in the grey area of the rules, so if you want to do these methods as well, do them at your own risk. The current setup we have is the same as the end of the first episode. Full fierce skeleton grunt armor with a legendary skeleton pet. And the pet is the most expensive part, around 900,000 coins. So around 1 million coins for this setup. If you hold out a pickaxe then the damage you do to ice walkers is multiplied by a lot and you can actually already AFK them with this setup. It takes a long time though because the skeleton pet only attacks every 5 seconds and that is a bit of a bummer. Another issue with this method is when another AFKer comes in. If he stands in the middle he will aggro all of the ice walkers and you will not get any kills. The items you can get from this is glacite armor pieces and also the jewel. You can get around 400,000 coins with this setup, which is already pretty good. Now the jewel sells for around 50,000 coins, but usually more, and the armor pieces sell for 60,000 coins per. Then there's goblins, everyone's favorite AFKable mob, because they make a lot of money. With this setup, 
is not really optimized for goblins, so we need to get a couple of upgrades first. We bought zombie knight armor and we also used the witch mask from previous episode. But we quickly switched out to witch mask because the bats don't give you kill credit and the skeleton pet actually tries to hit the bats, which puts your efficiency down by a lot. We got a new weapon to hold, the raider's axe, because every level 10 mob that you kill with it will grant you an additional 10 coins. It's literally free money if you hold this weapon while AFK. If you use this setup to AFK goblins, it already earns more than ice walkers, let's say around 500 to 600,000 coins per hour. And you can see that our bank is racking up cash between 3 and 4 million coins right now. From the moment we could, we bought a cookie because it's 1 million profit every 9 hours because not only does Bayo carry me, he also has ambassador rank. Now at this point, in a normal profile, you would buy an unstable set for around 600,000 coins, but it's not good for us because getting combat 16 is very, very hard on this. So we stayed with this setup, but the first thing we needed was a bit more strength, so we were able to one-shot all the goblins. We got a bunch of the cheap talismans that you can either buy from NPC or you can ask people to craft them for you or just claim them in game like the king talisman. Make sure that you put all of them on forceful so you get a bunch of extra strength. And then we bought a vampire mask. It's around 10 million coins but a very worthy investment because it does area of effect damage and the hits that it does actually proc Thunderlords on weapons. And our Raider X has Thunderlord 6 on it, but we cannot use it yet because we don't have a high enough enchanting level. And that is why I bought a stack of Grand Experience bottles and just started enchanting some of the random stuff that we had. You actually get enchanting XP quite easily and on a normal profile you could use experimentation table. But eventually we manage to unlock the needed enchants. Just past the ice walkers, there is a very good spot to AFK goblins if you are early game, because you can stand on top of one of the pillars and then the goblins cannot hit you. As you can see, the vampire mask will hit the goblins and after 3 times, Thunderlord will proc and that will kill them, earning you a lot more money. You can get around 800,000 coins per hour by using this setup. Another good spot is down in the ravine. You can also stand on top of a pillar here because goblins actually do a lot of damage. If you don't have a lot of health and defense, you will easily die to them. Everyone knows the most efficient spot to goblin AFK, right? It's in the fireplace. But there are a couple of reasons why we cannot do this. First of all, because there's already another AFK here and usually multiple. They're also very squishy, so we will die to them unless we have fairy souls. And if you think I will get them on the AFK profile, you're crazy. And last but not least, a lot of people know about this spot and they will bring ghosts here to kill AFKers. And that will be the end of your AFKing session. The other spots are just a lot safer. Our next upgrade is getting a ball pet, because this pet can hit multiple enemies at the same time. As long as you are in combat, it will keep on hitting them. And now my co-op member Bayo, it's actually pronounced Bell. I did not know this but I've been pronouncing his name wrong for a long long time and I would appreciate it if you pronounce it the right way because he has been carrying me so so hard in this challenge. For real guys. With this setup you can already start earning around 1 million coins per hour. The spots in the ravine and the other spot I showed is a bit less than the fireplace but still very good money. To quickly show how long we have been doing this, you can take a look at this X and also at my armor set because it's almost completely broken just from being used. Now this X con skills and it has 666,666 kills on it and still rising. Our next upgrade was 3 Fort Sorrow. Bell actually AFKs with the vampire mask and 3 Fort Sorrow in the middle of the fireplace. And why Sorrow? To get more magic find. Not only to find who asked, but also to get a lot more items. The items you can get is goblin armor and also goblin eggs, which is very important. I made a video on a good use of goblin eggs, so their price and also my AFKing method got boosted by a lot. While you're playing Skyblock, I'm playing 5D chess. But how long have we been doing this and how much money do we have? The profile is about one and a half months old 
and Bal has around 500 hours on it and me 50. He's carrying me hard. I have 100 million purse but their net worth is around 200 million. And what do we do with our money? Now Bal decided to buy some cookies and start eating them. And Bal? Oh my god, Bal, how many are you eating? Bal, what are you what are you doing, man? Think about your health. Bal, what? He's definitely getting diabetes. You would think this is it, right? We can just goblin AFK to the Hyperion and we are there. But there's a lot of other methods to explore. There's one event in the Dwarven Mines that we can actually do. The Goblin Raid. We can stand there and kill 25 goblins AFK and that will give us the max rewards, including 100 Heart of the Mountain XP. Like this, we can unlock our Heart of the Mountain 3 and also other stuff. Again, a huge thank you to Bell for carrying me. And if you are interested in the rest of this series, make sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment because this takes a lot of time to make. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.